Frustrations are mounting as one local school district is working to get students back in the classrooms safely. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes has more from the Crestwood School District community. Nothing about this school year has been easy, and even the best laid plans of school districts across the nation and Commonwealth have been met with optimism and a fair amount of scrutiny. What are some of the biggest challenges you guys have faced going into this school year? how to reopen safely. Our original plan was to come back five days a week. That plan nixed from the start as guidance and COVID-19 concerns plagued the start of the school year. Bill Kane not only teaches social studies, but represents more than 160 educators in the district. He attests a full virtual curriculum has proven difficult for them and their students. Student engagement is more difficult. There's, it's definitely easier to engage kids live. They're missing important benchmarks that, you know, they, they might not be able to make up. Some families in the district have grown more frustrated after the school board voted down a proposal for moving to a hybrid model. I would sign a waiver if I had to. Parent Emil Feist has tried to set up the best schoolwork environment at home, but he says it's not the best option and it's time to get back in the classroom. Their education is worth the shot. It, it just is to me. There's just as much risk in all the other things that the kids are doing. His daughter Braylon, a junior cheerleader and aspiring medical student, says if contact sports are good to go, there's no reason to keep kids away from precautioned classes. I was like, okay, I understand that. Like, I play sports too, but I'm more so worried about going into college and having good grades and learning material that I'm going to use for the next few years to continue my career. The district facing more time learning online, students and educators alike weighing the risk of a virus versus in-person education. I think there are legitimate points on both sides. There is, you know, we should be working toward a, a return to face to face, but we should also be doing it as academically and safely as, as possible. And the school board will continue to figure out how to do that, taking lessons learned from other districts. In Wright Township, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.